Hey guys, how's it going? Figured I would uh, just use this opportunity to show how I've weathered a few things. Um, these are some die casts I've done. I've done a few and did these in like Mad Max style. This is just kind of like barn find kind of thing. Just go show you some some of the stuff I did. So I went to the hobby shop, which there isn't many of anymore, so definitely try to go to them if you don't even, so anyways what I did was I put some uh, just uh, dry transfer decals then I hit it with a little paint thinner with like a dry brush to kind of bubble them up a little bit and make them I don't know, look washed out and old or come back and kind of scrape at them and Chipping, I believe they would call it. Basically, painted all the details. Is it a pube on there? Let's blow that pube off. <sighs> yes, now we get the pube taken care of. Basically, detailed everything like it would just a little bit less than I normally would. So the red, I would just do like one coat on the taillights, on the exhaust, I did like one coat instead of just making it look super shiny and nice, just because I knew I was going to be weathering this. I used some weathering powder, kind of give it some texture, kind of looks like rust. I was really happy with that, how that came out. I also used like a black wash on the wheels and just see the panels and... Also took a uh, punch and kind of punched the glass out. It's not easy to try to get it because it's such a small piece. You don't want to break the whole piece. So it looks pretty cool. And I put some like bullet hole kind of looking holes here. Let's see if we can... It's hard to see in this microscopic level. Do that. Did up top, just kind of went crazy with some cool um, dry transfer decals. So that's that. Need to get a turntable thing. You can see, like, some of that rust looks really, really good. I think. Kind of, that's one of the ones I kind of chipped away at. I don't know. Just kind of a fun thing. The next one. I don't even know. This is like a Marvel car. I'm not into that stuff, so I don't really know. So here's this one. <clears throat> It's got two like machine guns on the front, which I detailed, kind of rusted out. I took a drill, the small bit, and just kind of started drilling holes in places. If we can get so it kind of looks like bullet holes and ricochets and whatnot. The exhaust, kind of rubbed a black wash into uh, all the cracks and stuff, kind of make them stand out. Took a rust powder to it, dusted it with like a matte clear coat, and then do a little more dust powder. You can see. The holes, and then I kind of did like, almost some like blood staining. It's cool. It's hard to appreciate not holding it in your hand, but... Some bullet holes. It has a really rough, rusty look to it. Little blood spatters. So it was the first one I did. And this one, this actually was the first one I did. So I didn't get the weathering down as a kid. So this one... This is just like a dune buggy or something. I don't know. 
So same thing, I did a lot more blood on this because it wanted to give it a try. So we got a lot of like blood splatter. This was missing the gun on the back, so it did just kind of put a piece of tubing on it. Doesn't look the best. I'd actually like to maybe change it. But uh, probably not. Would really like to put an antenna off the back too, like a big whip antenna. They're pretty fun to do. And uh, I mean, if anybody's even interested, I can try to do like how I weathered them and any tips or if anybody even has any questions, just drop a comment. I'm more than happy to help. All right, thanks for watching. Give it a shot. I mean, I never really did this before either, so I mean, you can tell that was the first one I did. That was the second one, and then this was the third one. I kind of could control it more.